All right, guys. I just wanted to quickly shoot a video, just showing you guys just uh, this case that I uh, take with me just about everywhere I go. Um, I just grab it from the house, throw it in the truck, or it usually just sits in my truck. And uh, I just got some stuff in here. Um, so I'm gonna move over here. So I've got scissors. These are my secondary set. These are just cheap plastic ones that I've got. And uh, see what those are for for in a second. This is a flathead. I have a Phillips tool to throw in here. Um, tweezers, coils. This little pack of cotton bacon. This right here holds a lot more cotton than you might think. I got a unicorn bottle of juice. Uh, an extra battery, usually has two or three in there. And I have uh, a baby beast in here, just in case I uh, I need a tank. And then uh, this uh, Fuchai um, Duo 3, and this has two batteries instead of the three. It's got a TFE 8 on it. Now this is just a temporary tank I'm using at the moment. So uh, that's that's what I like to use, you know, while I'm here at work um, or on the road. Um, I seem to be driving a lot more than most people. And then this is the V God Pro Mech with a Goon. I have a Goon version 1.5 coming for this right now. Still waiting on that, and then of course I got the spare spring in here for that. Uh, just for when the day comes but and uh, for these mechs I try to use only these batteries but uh, Sony VTC 4s are better because the uh, discharge amp on those are 30 and these are only 20 so 50 amp pulse in an ideal situation but we know how that goes right guys so that's never true. Um, and I've got a set of Clapton's in this. It's a super sub ohm build in this thing, um, which is not safe for mech mods. Uh, make sure you do know your ohm's law before you uh, build any coils or use any coils in your mechanical mods. Um, I've been using this same build on all my mechs, uh, same RDA. Uh, I have several. And uh, this is just my favorite preferred mech because you know it works better than any other one I've ever used, any other one I've ever owned. Um, I dig the red, it's copper, carbon fiber inlay on the uh, switch there. Really nice mod, really like this one. Got a custom tip on there of course, uh, as you probably already knew. Um, so this is, the, this is the case that this mech came in. And all I do is I like to slide it under two of them, which it really don't even need. You don't even need two of them really. Um, throw the battery in there. So I'm gonna put the tools in first, in hopes of uh, them not coming out and scratching up on that. So. So just like that, I've got everything I need close it up when I'm on the road I usually have this sucker out which needs a new coil but uh, this mod is pretty cool it's got a uh, color display on it and it's a nice display and unlike uh, most other mods you can't really tell where the screen ends and starts there's no borders to the screen unless you look at it in the light like that so um, it truly does look a lot better in person you know it doesn't look awful on camera but um, this is a great mod. I just had a uh, Chaos that I traded for this. And this just recently came out. Battery venting on the bottom there. C uh, center clap in on it. Big fire button. It feels kind of cheap because the fire button is all wonky. And then the screen pops and moves. And the back cover likes to come off easily. I uh, can't really see what I do. I can't know what I do. Sometimes when I'm just holding it, it does it, but it barely holds onto that back door. But um, it's okay. I'm really, I'm kind of liking it. Uh, the back cover seems to move a lot. On there, it pops off a little bit every once in a while. The screen would go off. 
so, but, good mod, in my opinion, opinion, so, that's just what I carry with me, um, I do plan on getting uh, a little thing of coils to come in here too for the mech, and then probably a spare coil for whatever tank I end up uh, finalizing uh, to run on this thing. I change things up a lot. The only thing I don't change up is the mech because, um, as a lot of you guys may be like me, you get a little attached to mechs. I have a clone rig V1 that um, my friend uh, traded to me, and uh, he had it for a year, and he never got to use it because the uh, 510 was stripped. So I did a repair on it and um, cleaned it up, and I use it every once in a while. But since having this thing. I don't seem to touch anything but this, so. Yeah, but uh, stay tuned on the channel. Hopefully some more videos coming soon. Uh, comment, any questions, I will reply to every single qu uh, question in the comments. Um, any suggestions as well? If you want to see that stuff, guys, give a like, subscribe. Have a good day.